generally look at the whole body and how that that this knee plays a role in holding that knee. That is a work of the foot, with the pelvis, the core, and uh, running the knee. Uh, but first, we start by looking at the surgery book. So it was a medial meniscus, anterior horn, posterior horn. Looking from the portals, it looks good. Okay, lift this up. Just like that. Hold it. Mm -hmm. Hold it. Hold strong. You come in the middle of this little space. Always a slight little to the left. Mm -hmm. A little retroverted, so you build this slightly back. Mm -hmm. Yes, a little bit of better for horses. Now, shift your weight to the right, shift your weight to the left. That's normal. Now, I'm going to hold the pelvis, rotate your trunk to the right, stop, mm -hmm. and go back and rotate the left. Mm -hmm. Left is slightly restricted. Do you agree? Yeah, of course there's lots of different things on every patient, but the majority of things are very similar. Tight hip flexors, weak glutes, yeah. foot that doesn't work, tight, tight calves, you know. Uh, this is from simplistic perspective. All right, so let's go on the table. Hold, I can see. Hold. Okay, the other one. Really weak hamstrings. Yeah. Very weak hamstrings. Now lift the whole leg up. You know, one, two. Very tight hip flexors. You have your mm -hmm. lower spine keys in. Very tight hip flexors and no stability for that move in the other one. So in essence, you have no hip extension. We will look at the patella on the ultrasound and what's inside. Your hamstrings are weak. You feet have no, you have, you feet have no tripod. Uh, hip flexors are tight. The worst thing I saw was lack of hip extension uh, and inadequate core control. Overall, that was the worst thing. You still have a little inflammation, but Wait, can you show, show me what this? See if I compress. Yeah. Oh, I see. The swelling okay. goes. Yeah. You still have a little bit of fluid in there, but it's not a lot. When am I going to be back? For running for running. I generally don't like to recommend less than three months. Okay. Really? Yeah. I don't even want to create more inflammatory reaction. More wear and tear, which you already have, so this is, you need to be wise about your body. Right. All right, so three months, you could go back and run again.